good afternoon ladies and gentlemen <coughs> today is the port lecture on the cruise ship your journey and today we are going to talk about the most famous port in the baltic cruise that is called the st petersburg i think you are going to stay here overnight so you have a plenty of opportunity to see the baltic st petersburg very very well just tell you one thing st petersburg is a <coughs> miraculous city it survived lots of ups and downs destruction bloody wars which i'm going to describe very very briefly because <clears throat> and then we'll talk about which you must see during your visit in st petersburg you must see that otherwise you your tour will not be fulfilled and concrete the first st petersburg is a very relatively a new city in comparison to other cities in Europe and in the world and <clears throat> it is fairly new only three, over 300 years old and this city was made by the one of the Russia's great czar his name is Peter the Great he built this city <clears throat> actually as a monument to his himself and monument to the world this city is called actually he made this city to the gateway to the russian empire and so we will talk about that briefly the city was actually built city was built in see peter peter the great's life was very short he only lived 53 years and he became the czar in 1672 he born 1672 he became the czar in 17 25 he designed this city from images he gathered by traveling europe all of the cities so he was very very great in that way because he collected his vision by seeing the great roman civilization on other cities in the europe and france england all over and to build this city and he built this city remember before the saint petersburg before his life St. Petersburg is nothing but a swamp. It is situated in, on the Gulf of Finland, and there is a river, main river goes from the Finland to the city, which is called the Neva River. And in this city, actually nothing but swamp and river. He built this city, and this remarkable city with 65 rivers and canals, with 400 bridges, just think about it. 400 beaches it was it was that's why it is called this city the venice of the north because originally it was a river and swamp and in this bank of the rivers he built up the city and which is 65 canals and built and with the <coughs> with actually the 400 bridges if you go today you will not believe that from a swamp and from a huge swamp and jungle this city was built and what a gothic structure you will see the st petersburg st petersburg was founded in 1703 from his inspiration and vision touring europe to make the city as gateway to russian empire and created mainly created of palaces cathedrals and world famous museums and he made the city the capital of russia in 19, in 1712 after peter's death This city suffered most by wars, revolution, and reemergence in the 20th century after the breakdown of Soviet Union. It has gone through four major wars. First, in 1941, Russia entered the WW World War I, and <clears throat> and Saint Petersburg changed its name to Petrograd. Then, in 1917, the October Revolution, Bolsheviks under Lenin's Communist Party. seized power by killing last czars and soviet state was established in 1924 when lenin died petrograd was named leningrad when lenin died petrograd was renamed leningrad in his honor now leningrad was very famous remember in the second world war because second world war germany and sweden seized the with the breaking up with the russia germany seized the entirely completely blockaded the whole st petersburg city and this is a very sad story in that siege the 
the, the Germans seized the Leningrad for 900 days from September 8, 1941 to January 27, 1944. So it was, this siege has lots of sufferings. There are three, there's a one million, the Soviet citizens, the St. Petersburg citizens died. Uh, died of starvation, freezing weather, shortage of food, and no supply, and that, 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 that attack made a devastation in Russian's life, particularly St. Petersburg. And that time, as you remember, this, <coughs> this, the Stalin declared, with all the seas and everything, that Leningrad will never fall. And it was true, how it was true. Leningrad never fell, and actually, <coughs> Again, in 1991, the Soviet Union disintegrated and the democratic <coughs> Russia evolved. And to change the name of Leningrad back to St. Petersburg, the voters in 1991 in St. Petersburg told, voted to get back the old name again, St. Petersburg. Now, while you are here, this is a long history. We'll talk about it in subsequent lectures. But today, I want to tell you, as a tourist visiting this city, you must see these five items I have chosen for you, and that will cover your broad <coughs> knowledge about St. Petersburg, his history, the culture. Number one, <coughs> first you see the Peter and Paul Fortress. This is the Tsar Peter the Great built it in. And here you will see this fort has <coughs> impressive citadel, citadel and cathedral with his tall, slender, golden shrine and the burial place of all Russian jars in 1924, it became a museum after that, because 1917, Russian Revolution <coughs> destroyed the Tsar's families. Then the second thing you will be seeing, St. Isaac's Cathedral. St. Peter's largest church is decorated with 14 kinds of minerals and precious stones as well as mosaic paintings. The third thing you must see, Peterhof, Tsar summer place on the sea. Here you can see magnificent collection of fountains that rival anything in Europe with thousand pieces of world famous art. The number fourth you'll be seeing, Catherine the Great's official residence, which is called his, her palace. Catherine was Peter's wife. It was built for her famous and where the famous Amber Room is located. This, what is the Amber Room? This is the largest collection of sculptured amber in the world. Largest collection, remember that. The number fifth item, don't miss ever, is called the State Hermitage Museum. If you miss that, you'll miss St. Petersburg. So nobody could, as a tourist, as a visitor, you don't miss this one. What is the Hermitage Museum? It is Russia's most popular attraction. It holds the world's largest art collection, containing more than three million art pieces. Just remember, three million in three buildings, including the Tsar's Winter Palace, Catherine's Winter Palace. So actually, what you are seeing here in this Amber Palace, excuse me, the <coughs> Hermitage, the three million, there is, a, there is estimation that this three million art pieces if, if you glance only two minutes for one piece, it will take more than two and a half years to see all the three million pieces. So don't miss this one. You will see the collection of Renaissance, the French arts, and other things. Without this Amber Room visit, Amber Room and the Hermitage Museum, your trip will not be useful. So I request that you do that. Now we are, we'll be talking more. I'll be showing you some little movie and slides later on but if you have any question after this about these visitations and i will answer that to you and you thank you very very much for attending this session and hope we'll talk about that further in my next lecture thank you again <laughs>